What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we're going to discuss what is the absolute best GPU for mining according to a spreadsheet that I have created. Now I'm sure you've got your opinion and I would like for you to leave a comment down below before we get started and take a guess. What do you think is the best GPU for mining? Now we've got a lot of criteria going into this spreadsheet, things like density, efficiency, price, and a bunch of things overall. And I think you're going to be surprised because I was for sure. We've got a lot of really good GPUs as far as efficiency is concerned coming out with the 40 series, not so much the 7000 series from AMD, but I think you're going to be surprised at the results. But before we get into the content, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so by the end of the video. Now, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I apologize, guys. I have been extremely busy. I'm in the middle of acquiring a business, and it has taken a lot of my extra time. So if you've been missing me and you want to get some more content, you can always follow me over on Twitter. I've been extremely active there since it's a lot easier to post content there than recording for YouTube. So be sure to check that out. Hopefully you guys are on Twitter. If you're not, you should probably do that. So this spreadsheet, we're going to start out with efficiency. I've got all the 4000 series GPUs, all the 3000 series GPUs, all the 7000 series from AMD, and the 6000 series. Now if we go to older cards, you know, efficiency is really going to take a hit there. And as far as what you're paying for those GPUs, I don't think they really make sense to put into this spreadsheet. but we do have some GPUs from NVIDIA coming out in the near future, so we may have to make some amendments to this. But let's start out by taking a look at efficiency. Now, you can see that I only have a select few algorithms here, which I think represent a wide variety of different algorithms that we can mine. So Dynex, of course, has its own unique algorithm. So does Nexa, Flux, Alephium, Clore is Kapow, which is going to be a bunch of different coins, right? And then we've got Ergo, we've got Radiant, and we've got ETH Classic. So I think we have a pretty good representation here of a bunch of different algorithms so that we can kind of get an idea of which cards are good and which cards are bad. So I knew that the 4070 Ti was a little bit more efficient than the 4090 in certain circumstances, but I didn't realize how efficient it was compared to everything else. I was really surprised at some of this stuff. Now, all of these numbers that you're seeing here are going to be obtained from hashrate.no. Now, there will be some variances. I personally have seen some discrepancies in there, uh, especially when it comes to Alephium. Um, I seem to get quite a bit better efficiency out of Alephium than hashrate.no does, but we're just going to stick with what we can find, and we're going to assume that that's pretty much average across the board. So... I'm curious if there's anything that stands out to you just looking at this efficiency chart right here. As you can see, we go all the way from the 4090 down to the 6600. And one thing that really caught my attention, other than the 4070 Ti, was actually the 4060 Ti. And, of course, our 6700 and 6600 XTs on Clore specifically. As you can see, it looks like AMD does really good on Kapow algorithms, but... I was just a little taken back by how well the 4060 Ti did overall. If we scroll down a little bit further, we're going to take a grade based on all of these efficiencies. As you can see, the 4070 Ti is coming out on top by a pretty significant margin compared to the rest of the GPUs here in the list. But again, going back to the 4090 here, I'm really surprised to see that the 4090 and the 4060 Ti are not what I expected them to be. The 4060 Ti is actually more efficient across all of these different algorithms than the 4090 is, which was a bit shocking, if I'm being honest. Now, the 4070 is still pretty good. We're coming in at almost 80 on the score here. Um, and, and really, the reason that I started making this was because I asked Google's AI, which is called BARD, to scrape all of the data from hashrate.no to tell me what was the most efficient GPU across all algorithms. And surprisingly, it told me the 3090 Ti. 
and I knew that was not correct. So here we are. I had to make a spreadsheet and figure it out for myself. But again, going back to this, it looks like the 4070 Ti is the most efficient, but it's not always the most important thing. I think price is definitely going to determine whether or not a GPU is a good purchase for mining. And if you look at profitability right now, you know, if you're over at $0.08 cents per kilowatt hour, it really doesn't make sense to mine at all unless you plan on hodling for the long term. And even then, it would probably be more cost effective to just simply buy the crypto instead of mining it. But this is a mining channel, so we're going to cover mining, right? Now, if we take a look at just hash rate alone, not efficiency, I've got hash rates listed for every single GPU in here on all of these different algorithms. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we're going to take a grade. And of course, the 4090 is going to be on top at almost a score of 100. The reason it's not on top is because actually the 3090 had the highest hash rate on Ergo. And the 4090 came in second place there. Now, another surprise here was just how far off the 4080 and the 4070 Ti are from the 4090's hash rates. Now, of course, when you get to the 3090 Ti and the 3090 and the 3080 Ti, uh, we're getting pretty close there, but unfortunately, AMD is just very lackluster in this department when it comes to hash rates overall. Now, if we take a look at a combination of a few things here, this is where the surprises are gonna start to come. So what I've done here is I've just put in street prices of what I think these GPUs would cost you. And you may have a varying opinion here depending on your geographical area. You may be able to find these prices. You may be able to get them cheaper than this. But I just went through eBay and I took a look at all of the recent sold GPUs to get this information. And we can adjust these numbers. I'm gonna leave a copy of this spreadsheet down in the description below so that you guys can play with this and figure out you know, what works best for you. So for example, if we change the price of the 4090 from 1500 to 1200, you can see that that changes our grade here on the value for the hash rate. So if we change this back to 1500, you can see that drastically reduced the score there. Now, of course, let's say, for instance, if you got a 4090 for 500 bucks, then it's automatically going to jump into first place. But let's keep it realistic here. Now, the 6600 was quite a shocker here. The way that I'm calculating this is I am taking the grade overall and I am essentially dividing it by the price. And that gives us our score here. And the 6600 is really making some headway here by being in first place by a pretty significant margin. In second place, we've got the 6600 XT with 75. And then looking at the other NVIDIA cards, uh, we've got the 3060 Ti coming in in third place here. Or, yeah, looks like third place there. So, of course, if you were to change the price, let's say, for instance, of the 3070 and you got one for 250 bucks, well, now that puts that one in second. So this is all based on the price that you're paying for the GPU. But let's continue. Now, the next thing that I've got here is a category that's specifically weighted or graded on purchasing a power supply and the cables. So what we're doing is we're taking the TDP of the card and then we're then dividing that by how many VGA cables is it going to take to power that card. So in this particular case, if your VGA cable is capable of 216 watts, in other words, this would be a six pin PCI splitter, you're only going to get a maximum of 216 watts out of that. And you really don't want to push that to the limits, but you may have an 8-pin PCIe splitter. So you can get 288 watts out of an 8-pin, but you can only get 216 out of a 6-pin. So we're just going to err on the side of caution here and say we're going to get 216 watts out of each VGA cable. Well, we're going to need three cables to power a 4090 at full TDP. So for that reason, our TDP and how many power supply cables we're going to need 
is going to heavily weight how this is graded. And as you can see, a 4090 is coming in last place. What's coming in first place is a 4060 because it only has a TDP of 110 watts as opposed to something like a 6600 that uses 132 watts of TDP. Now, of course, you're not going to be using full TDP on all of these GPUs when you're mining, but you want to err on the side of caution and make sure that you have the correct VGA cables and the correct power supplies. So you're going to spend quite a bit of money powering a bunch of 4090s as opposed to a bunch of 6600s, right? Now, to play devil's advocate to this particular category, we also want to consider density. So space might be an issue for you, and you want to weight that category appropriately. So in this case, we're offsetting our cost of power supply and cables by the density. So in this example, how many GPUs does it take to equal 14090? Well, of course, 14090 equals 14090, so that gets a score of 100. And a 4080 is basically 1.4. So that gets a score of 70, and then we just go on down the list. So for example, a 6600, you need basically six of them to equal 14090, or 5.3 if you want to get technical here, but that is the lowest score at 19. So what I've done from here is I don't want either one of these categories to weight too much overall on the score. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine these two and we're gonna take this number plus this number and we're gonna divide it by two to give us our grade. And so coming in on top is actually the 4060, which is kind of surprising. And coming in in second place, we've got the 4070. And the 4070 Ti did not do very good in that category, which was kind of surprising that even the 4080 outperformed it. And again, going back down to the 6600, uh, at almost in dead last, but you've also got a few others that were a little bit worse. The 7700 XT is coming in dead last in this particular category. Now, all of these things considered and weighted equally, this is what we come up with. And you may be shocked here. The 6600 is actually coming in first place. Now, if you don't trust that, let's say, for example, you spend 150 bucks on a 6600. Well, that changes things. Now it is no longer in first place, and the 3060 Ti is actually in first place here. And again, that's still kind of surprising, but you know, again, what if you got a 4070 Ti for 500 bucks? Well, that's going to change things significantly too, and that's going to put it also back up in first place. So really the price that you're paying is going to determine what is the best GPU. But with all things considered and leaving this at default where I think it should be, so for example, if you get a 4070 Ti at 700 bucks, and you can pick up a 6600 for 100 bucks, then the 6600 is actually going to be the very best GPU for mining. Now, I know that may come as a shock to you. It certainly did for me, and I'm curious. You guys, leave your comments down below. Do you think that this is a fair way to grade this? And if not, how would you change this spreadsheet? And one other thing to consider is we do have some new NVIDIA GPUs coming in the near future. We're already starting to get some leaks around the 4080 Super, and we should have a 4070 Ti Super, a 4070 Super, uh, and possibly a 4090 Super, but that one looks unlikely. We are starting to get rumors for those ones that I just mentioned, so we may be redoing this entire spreadsheet here in the near future. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go. Hit that like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, and I will see you guys on the next one.